Hi, this is Mary from The Daily Sew. Welcome to part three of our three-part series on how to sew a linen crossback apron. So in part one, we got all the pieces cut out. In part two, we got all the pieces ready. We got the pocket ready, the straps ready, and the apron body ready. Well, in this video, we're gonna put them all together and we're gonna have an apron by the time we're done. So, get your machine ready. Get your iron warmed up, get some good tunes on, and let's go. All right, let's get our pieces. We've got our two straps, which have been sewn down the long edges. We've got our two pockets, which have been sewn across the top edge, but the sides and bottom are just uh, folded back and pressed. And we have our apron body, and all four sides have been folded over itself twice and sewn down. Now, if you've given yourself a different hem from the bottom and the top are different hems, note which one, because we're gonna need the top of the apron to put the straps on. We're also going to need to know what center front is. Put the straps on equal distance from center front. So go ahead and fold your apron body in half widthwise. So line up the two sides and press down on the fold. Nice finger press to get a crease. And that is, that crease is center front. If you need to iron your fabric, go ahead and iron it to get the crease. And then mark it with a pin up at the top or a couple pins, and also on the bottom for our pocket placement, maybe about 20 to 15 inches up from the hem, go ahead and place some pins to um, mark your center front for pocket placement later. And then we're gonna put our straps on and they need to be equal distance from center front, but how far from center front do they need to be? Well, we need to figure that out before we put them down. And how do we do that? We go ahead and look at where the apron will probably be on your body and then move your fingers out and see about how far you want the straps. Take a visual look and where your thumb is will be the inside of the strap. So kind of figure out how far you want it. You don't want it too far because the straps will fall off and you don't want it too close because it would be uncomfortable. So just go ahead, even with a tape measure, see how far from the center you want the straps to be. And then measure out from center front. Mine was four inches and place a pin. And measure from to the right and to the left, of course. And then take one of your straps, and the inside, place the inside edge next to that pin, and then take the second strap and place it on, next to the other pin. Remember the inside edge of the straps go against the pen. And then you measure down. I'm doing mine one and a half inches down from the front. And pin your strap in place. You wanna get it even, you wanna measure and check and measure. Look at the grain line, get your straps on there straight. And notice that I have um, the bottom edge of my strap. Remember, it's open there, and the bottom edge is like kind of peeking its head out to the front of the apron. It's lower than the top edge of the strap. So I poked it back in there, and I'm going to pin it down because you don't want that peeking out. And now we need to sew these straps in place. And how do we want to sew them in place? Well, that's really up to you how you want to do it. I kind of like that... Um, X, you know, the box with the X in it. So if this was my strap, I would sew across and diagonal and bottom and diagonal and it would make an X. I kind of like that look. And it also is a really strong, it's great for tote bags. But you could do something simpler. You could do um, a little box like that. But I really, um, I'm gonna go with the X and how you do that is you make the box first and then you sew in your diagonals and then you have to repeat on two sides. I choose the horizontal sides for strength. You could do something simpler. You could do a uh, line over and then just to continue your stitching, come down a little. 
And really, you know, your top stitches or your edge stitching on your strap is there anyway, so it kind of makes a box anyway with those stitches that are already on your strap. So this one would actually look like a box with one horizontal stitch line going through it. So how you want to stitch it is up to you, but if you wanted to do it the way I'm going to do it, so here's my strap. These are the stitches that are already on the strap. And I'm going to start in one corner of my box. I'm going to follow my top stitching stitches. Sew across the bottom, go up, sew across the top, and then start my diagonal line, repeat across or trace across the bottom. Second diagonal line, trace across the top. And those extra horizontal stitches, they are really good for strength because the apron, the strap is getting pulled on vertically. So the more horizontal stitch lines you have, the stronger it'll be, which makes it good for um, tote bags. But your apron isn't all that uh, heavy unless you got some rocks in your pockets. So the minimal you want to do is to stitch across the bottom because remember the bottom is open and you need to close it. So you need to stitch across the bottom and probably another line of stitching. That would be the minimum I would do. Let's go ahead and sew our straps down. So we're going to put the needle down into the corner and start stitching. Remember, if you have a uh, top stitching thread, you want to set your stitch length to be a little bit longer than normal, so about a three, and you don't want to run over your pins like I did that first pin, that wasn't nice. I've manipulated the um, needle there to land exactly where I want it to. You'll see when I come to the end, if it's not going to land where I want, I have the hand wheel and I turn the crank until the needle is just hovering over the fabric. Then I lift up the pressure foot a little bit, move the fabric manually, then stick the needle down, you know, move the fabric where I want it to be, then stick the needle down where I want it, the needle to be, then lift the pressure foot up all the way to turn the fabric with the needle still inserted into the fabric. That way you get a crisp corner. But sometimes you do have to, you know, like, just move the fabric a little bit to get the needle to land just where you want it to land. So again, I'm, I'm hovering above, I move the fabric a little bit, then I put the needle down. And then I can lift the presser foot all the way and turn the fabric. So first diagonal line, you may want to draw this in. Uh, I just did it visually by eye, but you may want to draw it in. And I missed the mark a little bit. So I actually have to make one stitch down to the corner. And, and that's why you might want to draw yours in. It's just a tiny little stitch. I was just off a little bit. Then I'm going to trace over that bottom line of stitches. Get it where I want it. And then my second diagonal line. Get it where I want it. And then my last um, line of stitches to finish off the box. When you get to the end, take a couple of stitches back and a couple of stitches forward. Done. Voila. All right, as always, pressure stitching sets the stitches nicely. And now we need to put the other ends of the straps down to the back of the apron. This is the trickiest part of the making the apron, and it's not very tricky at all. Just remember that the right strap will go to the left top corner of the apron body, and the left strap will go to the right top corner of the apron body. So when you take it over to the corner it belongs to, make sure it's flat and not twisted, the strap, make sure it's flat and not twisted, and then pin it in place. You might wanna use a safety pin or pins because you're gonna try it on, or you could try it on to make sure that the length is right for you. So remember the left apron strap is gonna go over to the right upper corner and you wanna make sure it's not twisted at all. Pin it down in place. Try it on, 
make sure you're happy with the height of it, and then come back and make any adjustments, pin it down, and we're gonna sew them down. So how you lay it down on the back of the apron is up to you. You could line it up to the edge. You could move it in from the edge a little bit. You could sew it the same pattern as you did the front straps, or you could do it differently. You could even put it behind. This is up to you. But I'm gonna show you something, a mistake I did. Um, but first I have to sew it down. Let's go do that. And then I'll show you what I did that I recommend maybe you do something different. So of course you press your stitches. And then let me show you something. So look at that mess. I'm sewing through lots of fabric there, including a layer of top stitching thread, which is pretty thick. And it was kind of difficult to do. So next time I'm gonna move my stitches in or I'm gonna move my strap in so I can avoid all that bulk right there. I was trying to line up the stitches to the line that was already on the apron on the top and it was just, it's just too thick, it didn't work. So I'm gonna move it in next time if I remember. Because look on the front, I also, I did it through all those layers of fabric minus the layer of top stitch thread which is thick, and I didn't have any problem at all. It sewed down fine, but on the back, it was just a little too thick. So <laughs> keep that in mind. All right, now it's time to put the pockets on. And to put the pockets on, you're gonna need to know your center front. So look for that crease. Some of my pins had fallen out, but now you can see my crease. And you're gonna need to put the pockets at a height that's good for your hands. And I'm just gonna guess, but you could go ahead and put this apron on, put your hands down and kind of see where it goes height wise. And then for distance over from center front, go ahead and use your um, strap, whatever you got for your straps, because if it was center for the upper half of your body, it'll probably work well for the bottom half of your body as well. Go ahead and pin down, measure and pin down your pockets. You are gonna try this on before you sew them down to double check as I had to move mine up. I pinned them down five and a half inches above the hem here, but then after I tried it on, I moved them up a couple inches. Remember to be sure that you are respecting the grain line of your fabric. Keeping everything, since everything's squares and rectangles, we're gonna keep everything straight. Then try it on, put your hands down by your side, see how you like it, make sure that works for you, that you can reach any things that are small that go to the bottom, and then sew down your apron pockets with one line of stitching that will go all the way around, and then another line of stitching that will go all the way around. And I say this because I have an apron where I only did one line of stitching, and after all the washings, it's starting to come loose. So we're gonna do two lines of stitching here. All right, we're gonna sew these pockets down um, close to the fold there. And you're gonna go down one side, across the bottom, and up the other side. And then you're gonna go over a couple stitches and then go back down, across the bottom, and back up the first side. It's all in one. And then we'll finish it up at the top. So look for a place on your foot that you can line your fabric up with somewhere to keep your stitches straight. Remember, you can't see any of your seam guides on your machine, of course, so look for some place on your foot that you can follow. Set your stitch width to three for top stitching thread width, I mean length, set, set the length for three, a little bit longer. And then remember to leave your needle in the corner when you, when you turn the corner. You'll leave the needle down in through the fabric in the corner and then you'll lift the presser foot up and you'll turn the fabric with the needle there. Just the fabric pivots around the needle. A couple stitches across the top and then you have to find another place on your foot, a different place for this side of the stitching. Just watch the foot and that way your stitches will stay straight. And there you kind of have to guess where to stop. 
And here I, I overshot it just a, just a smidge. Then come back up to the side that you started on. And we're gonna go across the top. I'm trying to line up my stitches, my new stitches on top of my older stitches. Back tack a couple of stitches. Hey, pockets are on. Oh, and of course do the same to the second pocket. And then when you're done, what are you gonna do? You're gonna press them, of course. Press the stitches, get them nice and set. And then you just have one more thing before your apron is done. Trim any loose threads that might be on your apron and take out any pins that you might have left in there because that would hurt otherwise. So you're all done. I hope you had fun making it and I know you're gonna enjoy wearing it. You can do it. But if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.